So let's see these questions. Negative 6 minus 6 and negative 3 minus 3. Okay. So I can think of three ways to explain it. So I'll explain it all three ways. Um, <laughs> negative 6 minus 6. Think about your bank account. You're already in debt by six dollars. And what do you do? You go and spend six more dollars. What happens? What does your bank account look like now? You were in debt by six and then you spent six. You're in debt by 12, right? Another way to think about it is it's you can take this subtract sign and go blam blam and now it says negative six plus negative six which is like, you know, a debt of $6 combined with another debt of $6, which makes a combined debt of $12, right? And yet another way is, think about a number line, here's zero, here's negative six, right? And like it says, negative six minus six, you're at negative six, subtract six means you know, you're going to go back six spaces. So if you go back six spaces, you will then be at what? Negative 12. And I kind of want you to all understand all of those three ways because we need you all to understand what you're doing. We need you to understand this really well and, and bring that understanding to future math classes, accounting, uh, chemistry, all types of science, all types of business. So, the, so the, the understand is statistics, all types of things, right? So anyway, do this one. Press pause and do it yourself. Negative three minus three. Okay, I'll do it with you now. A few ways of thinking about it. I, my bank account. I'm in debt by three dollars. I spend three dollars. Now I'm in debt by six dollars, right? Or I can go take my subtract sign and go blam blam. Now it says negative three plus negative three. Three bad guys plus three more bad guys. Three negatives plus three more negatives makes a total of six negatives. Or I could think about my number line. I'm at negative three. I'm gonna go back three spots on the number line and that brings me to negative six on the number line, right? 